my name is Peter Fairweather. I'm an anatomical pathologist and cytopathologist with Sullivan Nicolaides in Brisbane. I'm here today to talk about what we do in Australia to detect cervical cancer in its earliest stages. We test that through the pap smear and HPV testing. Cervical cancer is predominantly caused by human papillomavirus. Being infected with human papillomavirus is very common once a woman becomes sexually active. We know that the majority of women will become infected with some strain of HPV at some stage, whether it be a cancer-causing uh, strain or a benign strain. And we now know that the majority of women, at least 85%, will get rid of that infection all by themselves. It's like the wart virus that you can see on kids' hands except that it involves the special skin of the cervix and the penis. So it doesn't actually require penetrative intercourse to get transmitted to someone else. All it takes is close contact. We know that there are over 100 strains of HPV and about 15 of those are high risk or cancer causing types. Now, when we say cancer causing, it doesn't mean that when you have that type, you are going to get cancer. It doesn't even mean that you've got an early form of cervical cancer. What it does mean is that you're at higher risk of developing cervical cancer and that you need to be monitored more closely. The pap test has historically been a very good test and it's very good at detecting cellular changes. Unfortunately, it's not a very sensitive test, which means it doesn't always pick up abnormalities that may be there, and it's about 50% sensitive. The HPV test is a completely different test, although it is collected in the same way. The HPV test has a sensitivity of greater than 90%. So if there is virus DNA in that sample, we are likely to detect it. The pap smear needed to be performed every two years to make sure cell changes were picked up. The Australian Cervical Screening Program recommends that because of the higher accuracy of the HPV test, women aged 25 to 74 years only need to be screened every five years. If you have a test that comes back positive for a high-risk HPV, your sample will automatically be sent to check for any cell changes. Your doctor will be able to explain what your test results mean and whether you need further monitoring or investigation. If you have a high risk type HPV result on your test, there's no need to worry. Even if you are positive for the high risk HPV types, there's still a very good chance that your body will get rid of the virus itself. Mm -hmm.